SUVs are all the rage in Australia these days. But whoever said that sedans and wagons aren't cool anymore clearly hasn't seen the new Peugeot 508. New from the ground up, the 508 is charged with injecting some excitement into the medium passenger car segment. The previous generation 508 was a solid, if unremarkable, offering from Peugeot. The French brand is hoping to attract a bit more attention this time around with the 508's striking design and a feature packed single variant lineup. Pricing for the 508 GT starts at $53,990 for the liftback, and the wagon adds $2,000 more at $55,990 before on road costs. Peugeot Australia says the generous standard features list more than justifies the price, and it's true. The 508 is packed to its sleek roof line with comfort and safety gear. So much so that there are only two options, a sunroof and premium paint. Peugeot expects the 508 to appeal to design-focused buyers, and it's easy to see why. The striking exterior has an almost futuristic look, while incorporating design elements from Peugeot's past. The modern theme continues inside with the fourth generation of Peugeot's iCockpit interior concept that aims to lower driver distraction. The Nappa leather front sport seats with heating and massage functions add a touch of luxury, while the big 10-inch capacitive touchscreen and 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster up the tech offerings inside. Despite its sleek proportions, the 508 has a fairly spacious interior and good boot space in both the liftback and wagon. The design and layout of Peugeot's iCockpit, and specifically the small and low set steering wheel, won't be to everyone's taste, but everything falls to hand really easily. Even the seating position makes you feel like you're sitting in a sports car, and the materials from the dash to the seats, it really does feel like a premium car. The 508 is powered by a 1.6 litre turbocharged petrol engine delivering 165 kilowatts of power and 300 newton metres of torque. It drives the front wheels through a new 8-speed automatic transmission and can cover 0 to 100 kilometres an hour in 8.1 seconds. On the road, the 508 is not exactly a sports car, but the engine is responsive and paired with the new auto, power and torque delivery is linear and smooth. The ride is surprisingly comfortable and compliant, even on some pretty terrible back roads, and this is aided by a great wheel and tyre combination. In fact, the cabin is really well insulated from outside noise. The 508 handles really well too, offering an engaging drive experience without being as nimble as its smaller 308 hatchback sibling. Peugeot has been on a roll of late with high quality offerings like the 3008 and 5008 SUVs and that trend continues with this car. The 508 is about more than just its sleek design. It's a seriously impressive car and it should have its European rivals very worried. For more, head to racv.com.au slash royalauto.